First, let's talk about open educational resources and copyright. When something is an open educational resource, that does not mean it's copyright free. With the exception of public domain content, which means extremely old content that has aged out of copyright, and content that is created by certain parts of the U.S. federal government, which is meant to be copyright free from the beginning, everything else is under copyright. The creator doesn't have to do anything to copyright it. It just has to be a work of creative expression that's fixed in some sort of semi-permanent or permanent medium. So OERs are copyrighted. It's just that they're licensed for everyone to be able to use. When the library gets a license for a database, that license's terms specify that use is restricted to currently enrolled students and currently employed faculty and staff. When a developer gets a license to put a chapter in an online course, the license specifies that use is restricted to the students enrolled in that course, plus necessary faculty and staff. But OERs are under Creative Commons licenses that do not restrict who can use the material. They do, however, restrict what you can do with that material and under what circumstances. They don't restrict it much, but the restrictions that do exist are important because if you break the terms of the licenses, the licenses are void, copyright law applies, and you could be in legal trouble. So OERs are very generous in what you can do, but not free and clear. I'll talk a little bit more about public domain content to provide contrast. Public domain content is as open as it gets. If you can find a public domain resource, you can do literally anything with it without having to ask permission or pay royalties. You can keep it, share it, change it, even make money from it. You don't even have to attribute the source for copyright or licensing purposes, although you still need to cite it to avoid plagiarism. It is always a good thing if you can find the public domain resource that works in your course because there are no restrictions whatsoever, and you can count them towards your 51% OER bottom line for the purposes of SUNY OER services funding. Something to be aware of is that there is a Creative Commons license that is a grant to the public domain. It's called CC0, or No Rights Reserved. This is a nice idea, but it's in a legal gray area in the United States. The Supreme Court isn't convinced that it should be possible to void the copyright on a work. So you can use content under this CC0 license, but you should treat it like an attribution license, which I will explain later. And you should not put your own content under a CC0 license.